my friends, welcome to the new year! <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I hope you're all okay. I hope you're all okay. Um, let me know how how, how was your the changing of years for you? Uh, for me, I had to work. So yeah, I, I had to work in through uh, well through the entire night, which uh, yeah is annoying. But with some things you yeah, will have to be done. It's uh, it still work. Why are we paused every bloody time? Stop that. So we're building houses. We're building. Uh, if we have some free houses, we can actually do this. Houses available is greater than one. We could probably get rid of one of these guys, and this will most likely get some um, unemployment on the city. But uh, yeah, I, I had to work through the uh, the new the. How do you call those things? How do you call in English the changing from the old to the new? Because here it's just. Um, Old year and uh, new year, so new year and old year. So I'm not sure if, if that if that is valuable or, for, or valid for the um, for the English as well. So do let me know. Do let me know in the comment section. Let me know how the uh, how the event was for you. If you enjoyed yourself, if you if you had a bit much to drink, we have a war declaration apparently, which we don't care about. It's not on us. So yeah. Factions all could just keep closed because we don't care about that. We're making plus three again. Look at this! Oh, that's dangerous though. We're on Pegram uh, plus zero. Oh wow. It was one of the most ambitious articles in the fundamental declaration of the Martian colonies. As the terraforming progress proceeded, more and more resources lifted to Mars. The air was um, still thin, but people could walk on air in the surface and oh, let's pause. On air in the surface and truly tame the new world. The Confederate Martian colonies have declared they will initiate a construction project that will rival any of Earth. A lucky draw picked uh, Utopia colonies, a thin hamlet in the uh, Utopia. Planty, Planetia? Lava pain, Plain? Well, okay. As the site. Within a month, a small town was transformed. Within two months, the foundations of a superstructure was placed 16,000 kilometers above the colony in synchronous orbit. Now, Utopia Ventilia Fleet Yards. Um, fill the skies with dozens of giant sky dogs. This is truly inspiring. I know. I, I'm, 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 when playing this game, I am truly inspired, actually. Uh, it's, it's a dream. I, I still hope. I hope that I will live to see the day it happens, actually. Let's see. Hmm. Frontier would be nice. Preservation would be good against crime, but I don't feel the other... So, harmony, food upkeep would be interesting. Monthly unity, stability. Uh, unity, uh, no, actually, amenities, happiness. And population demotion. Oh, demotion time! How about this? Crime. Administrative capacity. Federation policies for member planet worlds across the galaxy. Set a focus. We are able to set a focus for Gal uh, Federation member worlds across the galaxy, which is interesting. I'm not sure what is up with that. Adopt tradition reduces the cost of bringing new civilization into the... Oh, wow. Let's go to Federation, man. We are the Federation. We need that stuff. I'm sure I just, just destroyed my game here. So, yeah. Let's wait until that's done. I'm, I would really like to get rid of this. Uh, let's research. Look at that. Are we building up here? Let's just do... No, not like that. Let's do a hundred. A hundred energy credits, lads. A hundred. That's what we're putting into. If we see this building up, we are going to dial this down. Uh, war has been broken out. Be, uh, with the, um, the Huskord and the Klingon. Ooh! Both absolutely scary and overwhelming, which also is 
very scary <laughs> the, the idea of them being overwhelming uh, what are you doing automation is on let's just see what it will do we don't have a governor in here which is not good decision cost crime uh, doctrine let's go for, for the doctor do we actually have planets that don't have governments yes we do I should have paid a lot more attention to that. Let's get another one. Soldier production. Uh, let's go for crime. Seriously. Let's go. Let's know. We've got one here. Two. Okay, so he has an leader now. Got a lot of leader. decision cost. I don't care about decision cost. Let's wait until we have some more energy. Uh, I shouldn't be taking too long. Uh, while waiting. Let's see. Wait, did I just miss one here? Yes, we did. I mean, not having a governor does sound a bit like a, a problem. And I know I could probably add them. Something else. But I don't really feel that. Yet. Come on with those houses, man. It takes forever. Continue. Uh, we have uh, science. We got the, uh, the fighter hangar. Which I was really interested in. Engineering station. Plus two. And also try... Terrium plating. I would actually like to get... No, this is more a... Refinery will be for the stations. Pulse wave torpedo. I don't know. Let's go with the plating. Just go with the plating. Let's review this process. We do not have enough, man. We will let's do a low intensity and we will make sure that the next time this comes up, we'll have 300. We're making a lot of influence. We're using a lot of influence. Uh, but we knew that. Uh, will you start developing? Let's see. Technology discovered. Mm, maybe not. Well, it's fine. What do we need? We need alloys. Fighter hangar would be so interesting. But first thing is alloys. We need alloy production. Can we actually make the Pegarium? Not sure if we can. Don't see it. Actually, yes, we, we can. Oh, they would hate that. That is unfortunate. Look at this. That's not good. Habitability will go down by 10. It produces two of those. I think we do need it. I'm sorry. Um, this part only can support seven buildings. Oh, we're already making it. That's what's going on. Yeah, the planet itself is not going to be pretty. Here we go. Are you done? Almost. Well, he's now without a job. He actually transformed into a worker. Which we don't mind at all. Construction complete. We have a lot of alloys. There we go. 95%. Awesome. Let's go back to Mars. And let's do it again. I wonder how green this planet could become. Uh, how far is Vega? It's not there yet. What do we research over here? Fleet command limit. Let's change the fleet immediately. And let's do the... Nero... No, let's do the dangerous life removal. Let's take a look here. Still, we're not building up, so that's good. We still have a lot of leaders to add. Uh, but we'll do those. We'll do those. First, I want to get rid of this bloody message. It's just so in my way. Also, the scrolling is just a tiny, tiny bit annoying. Yeah, those are doing well. Vega Station is getting there. 
Let's go with traffic control, just so people see that I'm actually genuine about that traffic control. We are not ready to do anything with that, which is a shame. So we're going to get another influence quite shortly, which is absolutely gorgeous. I like that, I really do. I know I should look at my fleet, but I'm absolutely just waiting until this magic can go away. It's very, very close now. If we can get rid of some of these uh, fleets over here, we might find another planet. A remarkable achievement. Come on, guys. We can do this. City is at 80. We pause so it doesn't change. <laughs> yeah, we should get rid of all of these alien vessels. If only we could... Hey, why is this... Hey... No, that, that can't be right. Yo. Build stations. How about you? What are you doing? Uh, we need workers. Um, I kind of need more... Construction complete. No, not that. Can we not build mining? Why can't we not build that? Production will be minerals. This is meta fabrication. The upkeep is insane. Okay, this is absolutely confusing. Confusing times for me. Since apparently I am unable to build minerals. Am I that dense? No, mining network. Here we go. Yeah, th that's the one I was looking for. Yes, I'm that dense. Great. I answered my own question. Uh, Earth is almost ready. And we can finally get rid of this message. That's going to be like the, the entire episode. Me getting rid of, the, um, of this message. Uh, excellent. 16 guys. So I would almost initiate a count. We're doing a lot of goods here with supplies. We might have, a, have a, too many of them. Let's go. For fuck's sake, here we go. Another one. I'll, uh, I'm going to the faster just to get this out of the way. It's annoying me. There we go. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, finally. So that means that we have two specialists. And no jobs. Isn't that great? Drone assembly. Well, cool, I guess. We're making two of that. We have the Klingon Empire declaring Excellent us plan. a rival. It's scary, I can tell you. It is scary. I really don't like that. So, um, fleet size. We can go up to 200. And I would like to add a bunch more. We don't have different ships. Um, but just getting more sheer power. Maybe we should add the frigates. Maybe. Let's take a look. Yeah, these are missile boats. They're fast missile boats and they're cheap. So adding those doesn't do anything. We can probably just add more of these. Something like this. What would be... It's just the same. Oh, well. Let's do it like this then. So we need another 6k. Amazing. Really, really nice. Thank you. Thank you, game. Ah, we need to prepare for those Klingons. They will come. It, it's uh, it's just a matter of time. Let's add a bit more. I want to go up to 100 and 100. Eventually, we'll dial it down. Eventually. Not right now. It means that it means. Uh... Crime. Diplomatic insult from the Orion Trade Union. And we're getting close at plus four. With a lot of energy. A lot of energy. I like it. I'm not going over 100, that's for sure. I really need to zoom out a bit. There we go. This is easier to the eyes, I, I would say. Um... 
to boldly go. To bloody boldly go, lads. Impossible Ceramics? Where is this? Oh yeah, we are unable to enter that territory. How is the Klingon war going? They're pushing into it. Excellent plan. It's superiorly overwhelming. And yeah, our fleets. Ooh, it's scary. Let's send the scientist. There we go. And there is only one person fit for the job. And that's the one that is, of course, uh, flying the USS Enterprise. So research that project. Um, it will take not too long for he's there. But uh, in command is Pete Grau Moff. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm completely destroying your name. Uh, we'll actually make it there in the nick of time. Let's get rid of that. Uh, Mars is doing its thing. It's just housing that we're lacking here. 35. Let's add a bit more. That would be 20. That would be 15. I think we can actually manage. Uh, once we get this building done, it will create mining jobs. We want a few more mining jobs, and then it's all about... L we don't want any excess minerals. We already have uh, 100 in reserve. And now we're starting to build up. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that was not going to be the case. Come on, one more tick. Please. Oh, one more to go. And let's see, if we just do this, will this trigger, oh yeah, it will. I'm going to do it for everything, uh, we'll just see what will happen. If my economy takes a, a nosedive, uh, what we will do is just try to get more alloys and make sure that we survive. And this is, I think, the, the ideal position for us. Uh, Mars Dreams are at 95 that's gorgeous. Can we do it again? The... Get that up to that sweet spot. Maybe like a hundred. That would be so nice. That will go away. You have a bit of a thing going on. Wasteland. It's nice. Not really important though. Uh, we do need to get those alloys up. We also need to get minerals a tiny bit up. But for now, um, let's make those alloys happening. And let's make sure that happens uh, just before all of that. The Mars Development Project. It's raining on Mars, of course. The first drop lands undocumented many kilometers uh, from the nearest human being. Everyone can walk around freely and unaided on the surface. Um, but the population is still in the low millions. And has not yet spread to every corner of the planet. A vast weather monitoring system, of course, is carefully tuned to keep track of the violent storms. Not a gentle storm uh, dizzle, but today it rains on Mars and it will not be the last time. This is amazing, man. If I wasn't aware there was a game, I would be crying right now. I would be so, I would be utterly, utterly happy. I'd be completely out of joy. So yeah, let's build this one up. I'm thinking we could probably go about, let's say, mm, two more K, like five and a half. And we'll have to start work on the second fleet. All in due time. So the NX class ship has apparently arrived. No, it's almost there. Good. Uh, the Vega station is done. So you... To my knowledge, we're a trading depot, but now we can start doing other things like orbital hospitals, population growth speed is always nice, and upgrade that thing. We're at 80, we could possibly go to 100, don't really want to do that right now. Uh, let's wait until we actually get a, another one. 
We got Gav, a possible can. What I would like to see if we, we click this, we can actually go there. That would be very, very lovely. Um, the Walker class, the multi ship machine. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Awesome. Awesome. I like it. So, yeah, we are uh, boosting the, um, the planets and sectors shed stockpile a lot, and they are doing a okay his job. Why, why would I. Change this. Let let them go. Let let's see what they will do. If they destroy my economy, they will destroy my economy. Look at that amount of water ice. You know what that means. The next episode, we should boost the city like bloody crazy, since that's the only thing that requires water ice. Hey, is that an idea or what? So the shared stockpile, it is. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all well and hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.